Hi all folks, this is Max from, Ga um, what's my site name? RootGalaxyNote.com and uh, there is a ICS leak finally for the AT&T Galaxy Note. So if you have a Galaxy um, Note from AT&T, um, go grab this file and let's go install this leak. Um, make sure you make a backup um, in Clockwork Mod Recovery before you install this, if you're rooted. And uh, you can actually install Odin, Odin this. Um, you'll need a Windows computer for this one. Um, so go make a backup and uh, let's go install this. Hold down volume down and the what is it? Volume up, volume down, and the power button. Okay, I'm getting confused here. Is that is that it? And let go of the power button when your phone resets. Actually, I think it's volume down, sorry. I'll hold down the volume down and the power button together. And uh, keep holding it down until your phone resets. And let go of the power button when you feel the vibration when your phone reboots. Keep holding down the volume down. Um, hit the volume up. Plug it into your computer's micro USB cable like this. And let's go install it. Next of all, what you'll need to do is um, make sure you have your device drivers installed. If you go to device manager, you should get a uh, Samsung mobile C U USB CDC composite device. If you don't, go install Samsung keys. I'll have links to that and install it. And also download SCHI 717UCLC5.exe. Download that and simply run the program. And uh, you get the screen. And if you have this yellow highlight, the common number doesn't matter. If, as long as you do, you're all good to go. And simply hit start. And this will flash the latest ICS leak for your um, AT&T Galaxy Note. Um, so finally we have ICS here. And uh, just let it run. And uh, I will be back when this is done. Alright, folks. Um, well, actually, I'll wait until this thing goes through here. By the way, I got my uh, machete finally arrived here. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll have a review of that, me hacking up stuff. Um, why is it not working? Ah, some, something, something wrong. I'm going to start it again. Because I think I, um, my camera's crashing. So let me start it again. Um, it's setting up connection here. Ooh. Okay, for some reason it's not starting. So I'm gonna just put re put it put it back into the download mode here. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Volume down in the power button. And I'm gonna start over. I think I was having some kind of USB problems there. There. Plug them up again. Let me try that again. Plug it in and hit start. There you go. Uh oh. Hit start again. Hmm. Weird. Let me try that one more time. Getting some kind of error here. Usually Odin's pretty good. Alright, let me try one more time. Oh, I get this firmware issue. Don't worry about it. Try again. Mm -hmm. It should still detect. Just do it. There we go. So it's not working. Um, so if you get that, don't be alert. Um, just try again and it should work. Um, I don't know why it was all acting up. Just make sure you don't have any other 
uh, big USB things, just plug it out if you're having trouble. Um, I don't know, I installed my new computer, it's somehow my my Canon, Canon camera um, connected with live views. Um, ah, did it again. I don't know. Hmm. Let me try it again. I'm, I have it actually cooked up to my USB 2.0 switch, that might be why. So let me, let me actually hook it up to my computer here. Actually directly. Let's try it that way. Might be having some trouble getting all confused. So I'm just going to redo this again. And I can run the program. Um, I'll put it back into download mode. And uh, here we go. I'll volume up. Alright, and I'm going to put it into actually over here where I have a direct USB connection um, to my computer. It's actually installing software again. Should be detected. There you go. I'm going to hit start. And this time it should work. I think my my new computer, I'm not sure. I've, I've got to, it should be working fine. Just, I don't know what happened there. But let's hope that it's, um, it'll flash it correctly this time. Um, pretty sure it's my USB hub. Just don't use a hub when you do this. If you're having trouble, usually it works on my other computers. Just today, just maybe my, my phone doesn't feel good. Doo -doo -doo. And I think I posted the unrooting method for this. So if something goes wrong, you can unroot it back to um, the full AT&T gingerbread also. There you go, I think that was the problem. My hub is kind of acting up. Um, is that weird? Why, why is it doing that? By the way, I got this new um, USB, USB switch 4 port. So I've, I've got a, um, now I have full setup of Windows, Ubuntu, and Mac OS X running on three different computers. So I can be more efficient, I can make videos faster. And this USB switch will basically hook into my USB 2.0 port. So I can just press the button and it will switch all my keyboards, all my devices to another computer instantly. Um, so I'll have a review of that. And uh, actually while this is going on, let me, let me show you my machete. It's gonna be great. Well, this is the unofficial unboxing video. We might as well do this. This is my Bear Gillis Gerber. I was watching a bunch of videos, people chopping up stuff. Anyway, I was gonna chop up a bunch of stuff anyways. Um, it's actually smaller than uh, what it looks like. But this is basically like off the design in uh, Southeast Asia, I guess. Uh, they, have, they use Parang, which is like the knife they cut up through the jungle and stuff in Thailand and you know I guess Vietnam and stuff but I finally have one um, you know it's pretty cool and uh, it's you can even start fire with it or something with it actually let me open it up real quick this is like freaking awesome um, so it's almost done um, so that was the problem, my USB hub was acting up, I have no, no idea why. Holy Jesus, almost cut myself here. You know, I'll have a full review of this, um, but uh, my phone successfully did it now. And let's go back to, I'm just OCD lately, I just can't focus on things. But you're probably like me too, some of you maybe. 
So now it's going through the screen here. Let me change the uh, angle of my camera. And uh, there we go. That's what it looks like. And uh, it's, it's going to probably reboot. Hopefully, reboot. Hello. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. So I've got the AT&T logo there, looking good. Check this thing out, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go chop up stuff, you know. I'll spend like, I get lost doing things, like I was upgrading my computer and then I get lost upgrading my whole computer for a day. Um, so I'm trying to stay focused, but this thing just arrived and very, very sharp, machete. Freaking just chop up stuff, you know. Maybe I'll have, I'll chop up. Let me, maybe I'll chop up my new iPad. See how well it can do it. I have a new video series called the. Uh, um, can you uh, chop it? No, you can you blend it? Yeah, can you chop it? You know, new channel. I'll be chopping up all my Android. You know, so I don't have to make these videos. <laughs> well, this thing is awesome. I can't go wait to try it. Um, pretty cool. Anyway, it's booting up. I'm just leaving the video on because um, some of you may be, you know, having trouble, and it's good to have the full video. Um, and it comes with the thing. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's go focus on phones now. Um, so it is done here, and uh, here we go. Um, let's do the corner thing. I don't. Do this. Ah, well, let me do that. Just cancel. Um, next, 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 next. So let's go take a look at. I'm still installing the applications. Um, now we'll go chop up some so bad. But I mean that Parang thing is it's 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 awesome because it's uh I found out it's it's kind of a uh, something between a uh, what do they call it oh it, it's something between axe and a sword so you can actually kind of chop all the branches and something in the middle so this is the leaked ICS looking actually pretty good just started up here and uh, about phone. 4.0.3, um, great looking phone here now. And my baseband has been flashed back to at and So if you're gonna use T-Mobile, just flash the T-Mobile uh, band back. And uh, it's just still loading up. Um, I don't think I have my SIM card inserted. It should be looking fine. Okay. Oh, it is inserted. So I'm just gonna update my uh, settings real quick. Let me walk you through. Ooh, there's a bunch of more stuff. I'll have a full review of this because this is like official ICS. Because I didn't only see um, not the. Did we see the leaks? So this is like what everybody's been talking about. I think this is the official official one. Um, go to mobile networks. Access point names. You can use PTA or I just like to use my own. I just put, just put A, APN, WAP dot singular. Oh wow, it has one that op operation. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before yet. I'm getting hungry. Maybe we'll have another noodle for you. See how I will see the behind the camera? Like, I can't focus. But um, there are good days when I can focus. Um, just wait a second and then it'll, it should connect to my 3G here, HSPA. There you go, you saw that. 4G, there you go. Um, so I've got 4G, uh, I just reset it, that's why, there we go. And it's working. Um, I'll have a full review of this. Looks pretty darn awesome. Um, this is the leaked version, I'm not sure how uh, if there's any bugs or not, but 
go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me. Sh uh, yeah, for some reason I got cut off again. I'm having a very bad that day here. Uh, anyway, yeah, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, just you know, should be fine if you get in trouble. I've recorded all my fails in the video and was still able to install it. Thank God um, that I didn't break my phone. But it should be pretty safe to do. Just don't use a hub. Um, I think I put it in my 1.0 hub USB port. I don't even know if I have 1.0. Something uh, funky with my new computer. But um, looking pretty good here. You should have new stuff. I'll have a full review of this. If you have a Galaxy S, to, uh, Galaxy Note on AT&T or unlocked version, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com. Uh, we update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews, stuff like this and more. And I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Uh, it helps me out great. Favorite it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have things. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Anyway, folks, I'm going to get real high on Android today. And I'm going to go try out um, this myself also, of course, and see how the battery life is and um, try all the new functions that uh, ICS brings. Love it. And uh, this was brought to you by Roots Wiki. Um, thanks to the, the guys there. I'll have the credits there. Um, you know, if you like this ROM, don't forget to donate to those guys. Um, you know, there's a lot of developers on Android. Um, I think as far as develop, development world, uh, Android is like way ahead of, you know, iOS, Apple, and, you know, Windows. Windows? What's a Windows phone? Um, that's why it's cool, you know. And, you know, my whole channel is about um, letting the average user, um, you know, take advantage of all, all that. And I hope I helped you. And thanks for you guys for ch um, supporting my channel. Um, hell of OCD and high on Android. All right, see y'all later.